Hi, I'm Paul, Paul Stone from Club Forma. And today I'm here to talk to you about how to solve data and governance challenges with easy process automation. A lot of people say, well, I want to know about my data. Why would I digitize processes? Why use digital process automation? And I think that uh, some of the key things that you need to know are once you use process automation, you're applying standardized processes in your organization or within your project. And these can be tailored to your team with the latest digital tools like Flowforma so that you're making the most optimum use of your resources and you're automatically um, becoming compliant with standardized processes. But in addition to that, you can gather data at every single step of the process. You can capture information on digital forms that are present in the hands of the site workers and also in the hands of the designers of the whole project team so that you're gathering data at every step and this is automatically stored in a centralized database. In addition to that, you can validate that data as well. So you're always ensuring that you're capturing accurate, accurate data at source. And that data is contained in a centralized database, which is visible across the project and company. So you can make standardized dashboards that show you progress on your project, for example. With the latest digital process automation tools, they can automate communications so that communications and messages are sent internally within your project team, but also to external resources as well, automatically. And this can really help drive projects forward by prompting people to take actions and also can uh, disseminate information, especially to those external resources and contractors that you're working with. Talking about that, the digital processing systems can automatically generate documentation as well. So imagine you're executing your process and at a certain point of time, a design document needs to be sent out to an external party, let's say your client, for example. Uh, the system can actually generate that document for you and automatically distribute it out to your external resources. And what that means is your, the exchange of information between different people on your project uh, becomes very straightforward and automated so that uh, people literally just need to look at a screen to see the data. It's available to them where or when they need it. And again, you have that ability to extend out to external resources and communicate with your contractors and suppliers so that the information is passed securely between those parties um, um, in the most efficient manner. A lot of people think that this is actually quite complicated, that this is large scale digital transformation. Um, and how are we going to achieve this? It's probably going to cost a great deal of money, take a great deal of time to do that. But with the latest digital process automation tools at Proforma, they're designed to accommodate change. They're designed to make it as easy as possible for you to build and adopt those processes, have your um, all of your workforce adopting processes, capturing information in digital forms, um, and to have that happen quickly. And it can be done in a very scalable way as well. So you can start very small by digitizing a few of your processes in your organization and then gradually increasing that over time um, to have more wide scale adoption. So process can be digitized in weeks uh, rather than maybe months. Um, and typically people see an ROI within six weeks uh, within six weeks of, of embarking on their digital process automation project. Uh, processes span different departments. So as different people in different parts of the organization are looking at the same process, they see a common user interface. So the processes always look the same. The data always looks the same. The data always goes through the same validations so that you're ensuring that the data is correct um, all the way through the process, regardless of whose hands that process is in at any point in time. Of course, for construction, having mobile ability is so important so that people need to be able to interact with your process system, whether they're sitting at a desktop in an office or whether they're out on a work site with limited connectivity, they still need to be able to interact with that process, capture that data um, and, 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 sort, and ultimately store it all uh, centrally. So um, with Flowforma, for example, we provide mobile apps to allow you to do that. So you can use any mobile device to actually access the process and capture that data. Now, at the end of the day, 
by capturing the data electronically, you're ensuring that it's, it's accurate, that it's uh, relevant to your current project, um, and that it's, it's going to be captured uh, <clears throat> and transmitted on to the appropriate resources within the team. We carried out some research recently um, in the United States where we worked with Construction Dive to actually interview over 100 correspondents to see um, how they were adopting digital processes. And some of the results were quite shocking. So for example, um, some over 60% of uh, construction companies in the US that we surveyed are still using outdated methods of data capture. So they're still relying on paper, uh, email, and spreadsheets for tracking for over half of their business processes. And if you think about it, that means half of the data is missing. So if your process is running on paper, that data is not accessible. It's not basically going to be available to you to analyze. And data analytics, as everybody knows, is so important within construction today to ensure your projects are running on time, on schedule, on budget, um, and that you're minimizing risk across your, your operations. To give you an example of some of the processes that could be digitized in your organization, these are just some of the processes that were digitized by our client base. Um, now, many of these will be familiar to you. I'm not going to go through them all in detail with a limited amount of time today to talk. Um, but by all means, drop over to our stand, our, our, our booth, and we will uh, show you some of these in action. Another insight that we found from our research was that people must have integration with their CTE. Um, so it's very high on people's priority list that they want to integrate with various applications that ultimately combine together to form your CDE. So you would want to integrate also with your project management software, but also with your document management software as well. So that documents are included in your work, in your processes, or managed in your processes, but stored ultimately back in your CDE. So integration was a key thing. Um, and it's not surprising because everybody needs that common, must have that common data environment um, to store all the information related to their project at every single BIM phase. So whether it's you're way back at the tendering process, if you're doing pre-construction, construction, construction um, and post-construction maintenance and so on, you want to be able to um, have that central store of information collected throughout the project. So I'd just like to talk to you briefly about some of our customers and success stories that they've had and what, how they've used digital process automation to make their um, construction operations better. And the first one up is Morgan Construction. They're a civil construction company um, that work on environmental projects headquartered in Canada with over 500 employees. In their particular case, um, like with many of our customers, they deal with one area first and then they move on to deal with other areas within their operations. And their first area of concern was managing their contractor workforce. So they have over 200 uh, contractors working for on their projects at any one point in time. But of course, that contractor workforce uh, changes constantly as projects start up and close down, etc. And their, um, their availability of, of people to be on the projects at the right time, in the right place at the right time, was uh, governed by the accuracy of the data that they were capturing. So they were monitoring all those uh, new hires um, on a very large spreadsheet, and that spreadsheet would often become out of date. The spreadsheet was used for reporting, and of course, uh, as everybody knows, reports are only as good as the data that goes into them, and if your data is inaccurate, the reports are of very little value. So they deployed full form of uh, automation to automate their contractor onboarding and offboarding processes, so that basically, as contractors came into the workforce, they were automatically tracked by the system. So people could see exactly what was, um, exactly how the workforce was, was changing over time. And this ultimately um, allowed them to provide much more accurate reporting uh, in real time, because as those processes are being progressed, as people are coming in and out of the organization, uh, the data is updated automatically in real time. So you're able to build dashboards to see the status of your uh, workforce at any one point in time. It also helps you 
with side benefits like improving efficiency on operations. The next client I'd like to talk about is Sullivan Engineering. Now we actually have a representative of Sullivan at the show uh, today. Um, they're a US building construction firm uh, providing technical assistance for exterior restoration projects. So they're at the, the tail end, if you like, of a uh, typical build process. But they were very challenged by the fact that they were continuously using paper-based processes. So they're a rapidly growing company, but they were held back by the inefficiency of paper-based processes. And they deployed performer process automation uh, and were impressed by just how quickly they were able to digitize processes and get them out in the field, generating return on investment. So that they estimated it was four times faster than any other tool that they had tried. Um, but at the end of the day, by digitizing processes at scale, they were able to improve their data recording and demonstrate to the customers a true source of data keeping company-wide standards across documents and processes. And a side benefit of this is that it had a big impact in terms of customer experience so that they were able to evidence to the customer that they had carried out certain processes in a certain way, in a certain time frame, and so on. And having all this data available to evidence that they actually did something really made a big difference for, for Sullivan and it had a significant impact on customer satisfaction. So it's, a, it's an interesting side benefit that if you've gathered data, you're gathering evidence, and that evidence can be presented to um, ultimately to your client base. Next one up is uh, CVB JV Tideway East, which is a very large civil construction project in the UK, um, a tunneling project of the Thames, a joint venture between some very large companies, Costa and Vinci, and so on. Now, the thing is that the driver for Tideway was to improve efficiency. So they wanted to digitize processes to become more efficient and they saved over 700 hours on repetitive tasks in one year uh, on, on the project by digitizing processes. But an important thing for them was to build up that golden thread to actually show all of the evidence of processes being executed and to have control over process and data governance by uh, digitizing the processes and ultimately to enable them to report on all that structured data. So by capturing uh, lots of detailed data through process automation, they were able to analyze that through Power BI dashboards. Uh, just an example of some of the customers that use Flowforma, it's a case of anybody and everybody. Uh, we have uh, construction customers across the world, but it's interesting that they all specialize in different areas. And some large general companies do a lot of work in lots of different areas. But uh, everybody, in a sense, benefits from um, process automation. Just like everybody, in a sense, benefits from adoption of BIM standards, they also benefit from digital process automation. And many people, when they think of BIM, they just think of the 3D slash 4D model uh, of, of a building, et cetera. But of course, it's all those processes uh, that are executed by human resources out in the field, uh, managing all of that, capturing all the data in relation to those activities. That's important to just about everybody. So it's no one specific sector, sector of construction we're talking about. Pretty much anybody can benefit. Um, so let me just tell you a little bit about Flowforma. It's a company with over 200,000 users across the world. And we stretch across from New Zealand right around to the west coast of the US. Um, and we're seen as being quite a revolutionary company in that we don't just deal with processes, we also deal with data, we also deal with documents. We combine all three together into a single solution that uh, records all the activities in your project in a very standardized, controllable way. The system itself um, can be used on any device, um, so you can use it on a desktop and mobile, etc. And these are just some of the processes that we provide templates for straight out of the box. And what I'm going to do is show you very briefly what the system looks like. I'll give you a very short demonstration. Um, but just to let you know that we are available for demonstrations at our booth in, uh, in both the virtual, uh, present, uh, virtual um, summit and also in the physical summit in Ballsbridge. And you can always go to our flowforma.com website uh, to find out more examples of case studies and to arrange a private demonstration. 
Okay, let me just quickly jump out here and show you what Fulformo looks like. It's first and foremost a web-based system. So you're typically accessing Fulformo via a web-based interface. So this is the website right here. And down here, I've set up some example processes for materials requisition, multi-project controls, and so on. But you can set up the processes that you want. It's so important. These are templated processes that we can provide to you. You can use them straight away. But you can build your own processes to work your way for your team. And that's so important. You can take these templates, you can modify them, do whatever you like with them. But you can even build processes from scratch. And it's very quick and easy to do. You can put together a process in as little as a week. Um, or for more complex processes like materials requisition, for example, that might take you six weeks. But relatively speaking, it's a very short space of time. And it's designed that you can build these processes uh, using non-technical knowledge. So you don't have to have a lot of IT knowledge to, to build their processes. Most of the people who build their processes in construction are apprentices and engineers, the people with not necessarily a lot of IT skills, but who understand the construction industry well and understand what they need to do in terms of capturing data, what data do they need, what process steps do they need to execute. And once you capture in data through these processes, you can report on the data. Like down here, we have a built-in built report here showing me some information on materials requisition as it happens. But you're capturing data all the way, uh, all the way through at all of your processes that you can then analyze. Very briefly, um, this is what a process looks like. This is a safety observation. Um, and what it's doing is it's, it's, it's automatically uh, displaying an uh, electronic form on the screen. And the electronic form captures a series of data, and that data is stored in a central source. There's a wide array of types of data that you can capture. It's not just simple uh, fields of text. It's also things like uh, locations um, and tables of information and so on. Uh, this might be a better example of uh, another uh, completely different process in Flowformer. It's a weekly fire safety checklist. But we have a series of steps in the process. These are carried out by resources in the field. And then down here, we have a table of information. It's a typical kind of a checklist style process that uh, will be used in construction. Now, these forms are also available on mobile devices. So when you go onto your mobile device, you see a very similar interface. And the idea is that once you learn one, to use one full form of process, you can use any full form of process on any device. And it's very easy to, to learn and to adopt. And we specifically built it um, so that it can be adopted by the business as quickly as possible. It's all very, also very easy to change these processes. So you can draft out a process in a, a day or two, pass it out to the workforce, get feedback, and automatically adjust that process then to, to meet the needs of the specific uh, workers in the field. So that's so important that you can actually adopt those, adapt those processes to meet your specific project requirements very quickly and very easily. Okay, that's going to be all the time that I have to show you for a demonstration today. But as I say, please drop over to our booth um, uh, to get a, a more detailed uh, view of, of Flowform in action. Thank you very much. And just to end, I'll just quickly pop up a Q&A slide. And uh, please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you very much.